Hey everybody, Chris Bryant here, and got a CCNP Route 2 minute video tip of the day for you, and it's on packet types. And I know that's really narrowing it down. What kind of packet types are we talking about? Well, as soon as I start our two minute clock here in just a moment, we'll get right to that, and especially uh, bring up the live equipment because I want to show you an often ignored troubleshooting tool with our protocol of the day, which just happens to be EIGRP. Now, remember the good old days, your CCNA studies, and you only had one EIGRP packet you needed to know about? Well, that was the Hello packet, of course. That's our neighbor discovery packet, and it also maintains our adjacency, and we know the address for that one, the multicast, is 224.0010. What you might not know are these other types. Let me add that to my dictionary there. Your ACK packets are Hello packets that simply don't have any data in them. It's strictly an acknowledgment. A query packet is going to be sent when a successor is lost and there is no feasible successor. And we might know those as dual query packets as well. But that's the only circumstance under which a query packet is going to be sent. Now, reply packet, you know, sounds simple enough, but what are we replying to? And hopefully it is a reply containing a route for us in answer to that query packet. The update, of course, is our routing update packets. Remember EIGRP routers, new neighbors are only going to exchange full EIGRP routing tables at the very beginning of the adjacency and then after that they'll send out updates as needed and they will be sent only to the routers that need them and they will, ref will reflect only the routes that have changed. You're not going to get a full routing table uh, every single time like say RIP does. I want to show you a couple of commands here as we wrap up this two minute video. Show IP EIGRP neighbor is a great EIGRP troubleshooting tool. It's going to show you your neighbors, the interfaces that uh, are being used to form the adjacencies, how long the adjacency has been up, which is a great troubleshooting tool, but it's not really showing you these packets. If you want to see these packets, hellos, updates, queries, replies, and acts, use show IP EIGRP traffic. It's a great tool to get started with your troubleshooting. One more thing I want to throw at you as we wrap up here, very important detail. Two of these packet types are considered unreliable. Do you know which two they are? And it's simply because they do not use RTP, the Reliable Transport Protocol. The hellos and acts, with which without these we literally cannot have an EIGRP adjacency form or be maintained, but these are actually considered unreliable. And the others, of course, are considered query, rely, and update. Since the shut up buzzer just went off, I guess I better shut up and move along. One more thing I wanted to show you here, though, as we're starting this new series of videos. If you've got a suggestion for a two or three minute video or tip of the day, please tweet me at CCIE12933. Also happy to hear from you on the blog, YouTube, and Facebook as well. I'm Chris Bryant, and I'll see you tomorrow with another CCNP Route Tip of the Day.